Uh, future MLS Cup champions are next. And anybody that's not Red Bull. We're gonna we're the we're, we're the future MLS Cup champions. We're gonna loan the we're gonna send the entire team overseas. All righty. Do we have to talk about this? Yes. You suck. How else right. are we going to talk about Jason Pendant leaving? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> and David right. Jensen, what is hat? David his Jensen's hat's hat. gone. No, no, I'm not upset David Jensen's gone. I'm upset David Jensen's hat is gone. <laughs> you got to bring right. Dean Henderson now. That's the only way to that's the only way to fix it. Bring in Dean Henderson and his hat. All right. I'll speak to this from a fan's point of view. We brought in a bunch of players. We lost a bunch of players who didn't matter. We didn't do enough. This is a failure of a window. So we'll go through some specifics now. Our most impactful signing this season has been Steven Sorda, a 16-year-old Ugandan center mid from Red Bull 2. Kyle Duncan has been okay in his return on loan uh, from Ustende. Elias Manuel is on loan for till the end of the season. He just got in the country, so he will play 10 games. Assuming we make the playoffs, maybe he'll get 11 games because you know we're not getting out of game one. Tyler Pasher gives us some depth on the wing uh, in our, in our kind of five-player uh, wing back. And then Matt Nasidia, who has finally cleared the Naval Academy's waiver process so he doesn't have to serve, he can play, just joined the team yesterday. David Jensen's hat is gone. Heartbreaking. Ashley Fletcher played four games, sent back. Jason Pendant decided to start playing for uh, George Struber before being transferred to the second division of France. Lucas Monzon played one game, sent out and terminated his loan. This team needed a designated player striker. Period. One who has a proven record of scoring goals at a high rate at a high level. That's all they needed. The defense is fine. The goalkeeper is fine. The center mids are young and fit the system and whatever. But for the love of God, if I see one more Red Bull striker who cannot hit the frame from four yards away, I'm just not going to watch soccer. I just can't do it. It is not true. You're going to watch. We know know you're going to watch. Quiet. It's game after game of the same, same nonsense. It is brutal to watch. Eventually, we started clicking, and we got a win against some bum team in five stripes or whatever. It's not it that just, hard to do right now. It just it just feels lost. It just feels silly. And everybody knew what we had to do. And instead of going out and getting a proven striker, we got a 20-year-old second division striker who has 18 appearances in two years and has scored twice. The Red Bull way, baby. The Red Bull. <laughs> the Red Bull. Oh, man. I gotta. I think I'm going to make that my profile picture at some point. That way, anytime I get upset, I'm just going to put the Red Bull right here. You don't have to tweet anything. Just tweet, like, a period. That's <laughs> it. The Red Bull will appear. Oh, I tweet the Red Bull consistently. I know, we but if them. you make it your profile picture, you just have to tweet, and then it's there. We love the Red Bull, but the Red Bull doesn't love us. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna agree with you on a loss here. I it's think a loss. it's a massive loss. I don't think you guys got worse. I think you, I think you do, did you did get slightly better. I think Pasher adds a little bit of depth. I, I like bringing back Duncan, but again, yeah, I agree with you. I just don't. Same thing with Minnesota. I just don't think you kept up with the bar. I agree. I also agree with you on the striker thing. You need someone who can finish in Patrick Klamala's spot because Klamala can't do it. <laughs> it that man and, has so and, many and here's the deal. By the way, by the way, Bree, sorry, I'm in the middle of dealing with some soccer stuff from the, the team, but here's the deal. Patrick Klamala can do it, by the way. Patrick Klamala didn't have enough service throughout the year, and if you watched him play over the last two games, when we finally started serving him the ball, he created chances. Now, granted, he didn't score. Any of the chances, <laughs> but there's isn't that nothing, kind of the job of the striker? <laughs> there is nothing here that tells me he can't do it on a cold rainy night. So it just hasn't happened. 
The issue is it needs to happen. So I'm saying that if we sent Patrick Clamala anywhere, I would put money down, any significant amount of money for a graduate student making pennies. <laughs> I would put money down. He is successful somewhere else. I would, genuinely. I just don't know if it's going to happen here, which hurts because we spent good money on him. I don't know. I think you're giving him too much credit. I mean, his his I remember if it was last year or two years ago, I looked it up at some point and his like XG to to goals ratio was yeah, like very dumb, bad. These dumb stats that only matter when they work in it, Newark. I know. It's not a dumb stat. They're dumb when they go against my points. Yeah, you did make that pretty clear that you don't like stats that go against your correct your okay. agenda. <laughs> correct. Um, it's a loss, plain and simple. They may have gotten a little bit better. They addressed some defender depth, but goodness me, did they need a striker and they missed one. 